Partner asked me to compete with his workmate's partner making them lunch misogynistic. My partner came home and said his workmate's partner made them. Both a nice lunch SND once I made a nice butter chicken for them. They both said they should get us competing because it will be funny. Her and I both also work in hard in our jobs, and it was never meant to be competition just a gesture one day. I asked him why he thinks it's fair to expect us to cook lunches often as we work too, and he said it would just funny how bitchy it could get, like WTF. I was either being oversensitive or it is really misogynistic. Edit sorry I am unable to respond to everyone, so many responses and been a busy day at work. To the two men who private messaged me telling me if for posting this as it gets women angry at me piss off. If it's your job to make him lunch and fill your traditional role in his mind, why are you working? Shouldn't he fulfill his traditional role by making enough to support you both? It's amazing how many men forget that other part of it. Let me guess, you make dinner every night and pack his lunch every day? I'm assuming of course, but he sounds like an ass. Tell him you'll do it when he makes dinner and lunches for you. Because it would be funny, no. It's a clumsy attempt to manipulate you both into creating amazing delicious meals that they get to eat. How stupid do they think you are? If I worked 40-hour weeks and my husband still expected me to make his lunch like he's a six-year-old, I'd be fucking furious. The belief that it's your job to make his lunch, and the assumption that a competition between women would become bitchy is pretty much the definition of misogyny. I think you should both show them how funny and bitchy you can both be by not making their entitled asses lunch at all anymore. No, you are not being sensitive, they are essentially telling you they want you to willingly compete in a best servant competition, the only winners of which will be them, while they get to watch both of you become overly stressed and pressured. Sound so funny. S. I think this is a great idea. Your partner should make you lunch, and he can compete with his friend at work. Oh? That's not what he meant? Does he think you make lunch with your vagina? Because, otherwise, I see no reason he can't handle it. I mean, if it's funny how bitchy it could get, just make him a lunch of a packet of dry crackers with nothing. Even better if you coordinate with the other other half. Every day. When he complains just remind him how funny it's supposed to be. It really is misogynistic. Why don't you ask him to make lunch for both of you and her and see how he reacts? He needs to start valuing your time and see your gesture as just a nice gesture, not a duty. Also women don't have to be bitchy or in competitions, nor do they have to be bitchy if they are in competitions. You are basically looking at two manchildren too bored at their workplace to have enough time to get into a conversation about how cool it would be to get you two, their partners, set up against each other making them lunch, hoping you'd start a catfight over it. Cause it'd be funny. It's pretty FD up. He has shown you what he views your role to be. At least he is open and honest in his misogyny. I make my wife and kids lunch every day. If she said something like that I wouldn't be making her lunch anymore. Of course if she tried to manipulate me into doing what she saw my role to be by insulting me we probably wouldn't even be married. It is absolutely misogynistic, and I bet he planned to laugh about it later with his friend, about how they have you both so well trained that they can point fingers and get you both working on their behalf. And who benefits from this competition? Oh, coincidentally him and his friend? Convenient how it's meant to inconvenience the both of you for their benefit. And what, pray tell, was the benefit in turn for you and her? Their satisfaction? It most certainly wouldn't be gratitude from the way he's already acting about it. Why is making a lunch a competition and why does he expect it to turn bitchy? Nobody is doing it for their SO approval every lunch or something. Stop making him lunch. Jesus I'm sick of these posts, it's like time traveling into the 50s but only to watch women get walked all over. This sub makes me never want to get married. Every day that goes by, men manage to find a new way to degrade women. I'd never make his lunch again if this is what he thinks of me. Yes of course it is sexist and misogynistic. 
it's treating women as if all they do is cook and be catty to one another. Why did these men assume you two would want to compete? Why did they assume you like to cook? You can always suggest that it would be so funny if the two men jousted to the point of maiming while you and the other woman sat high above and watched. So funny h-a-h-a. I literally couldn't imagine taking someone for granted that much. You should tell him to make his own damn lunch and have a competition between themselves to see who makes the best. It's 2023, adult men can share the cooking duties instead of acting like big babies. Sounds like he'd make a better ex-boyfriend. I mean, aside from your workload issue, you did a nice thing for someone you love, and he turned it into some nasty thing about bitches. It's like he's punishing you for making a delicious lunch, which is just idiotic on his part. I don't make my partner's lunch at all. We both work, he makes his own lunch. If I'm boxing up leftovers for myself I'll ask if he wants that too and make another box for him but that's it. If he came home with this shit I'd laugh in his face. The bitchy comment is a red flag for me. Yeah, that's misogynistic from start to finish. Expecting you to make lunches, compete with another woman, and to say it would be funny if if got bitchy. If my partner said something like this I'd be rethinking the whole as relationship. Especially since in another comment you mention you do all the cooking, and now he wants you to do even more. As a competition? Oh hell no. You need to go on cooking strike till he is appropriately grateful. Equal field of competition. All four of you make lunch for the crew or no one does. And you start with your partner going first. The idea of a good-natured competition would be one thing, it could be a fun way to get together with a work friend and their partner to hang out. But, proposing the idea just because you're women? Weird. Assuming that you should be the ones to cook for them just because you're women? Bad. And assuming that because you're women the competition couldn't be good-natured and would instead turn bitchy? Even worse. Definitely misogynistic to assume that all women are incapable of being friendly competitors. They want to see women fighting with each other via their cooking skills. Two women that don't have any reason to compete with each other over shit. Cooking they conveniently get to enjoy. Just tell him nice try. I talked to her name and we think it would be funny for you guys to compete over who can fold the most laundry and give the most orgasms. It would be fun to see how competitive you guys get. I think he's trying to trick you into competition with some other woman for his benefit, but he's dumb and bad at it. I tell him you have a special lunch for him and send him to work with a lunchable with a picture of a cartoon cat with its middle fingers up taped to the top. See if the other wife can top that masterpiece. It's misogyny on a couple of levels. First, that it places an expectation on you to prepare his lunch. The ruse that it's to inspire catty competition between wives is gross because one it's probably a lie and two that he thinks you're vapid enough to fall for and be inspired by it. Serious bullshit is what this is. You I hope y'all aren't married. Of all the red flags. Funny to whom? Competing for what? And then to double down when asked to reckon why he's expecting women to perform and be a punchline. Two men wanting to pit two women against each other and see it turn bitchy for their own benefit and amusement is misogyny, yes. Talk to her. Then the two of you can decide to have a competition yourselves each of your partners makes your lunches for work every day for a month, and you'll make that a competition, to see which of the men does a better job by the time the month is over. Ex-partner I hope. It's not funny and they know it, it's a super weird way to waste their wives' time and pit two women against each other. Get the partner's contact info. Develop a game plan. Or even better, get a new boyfriend. I'd band together with the other wife and make it a competition on making the saddest lunch ever. An overcooked hard-boiled egg, two pieces of wilted iceberg lettuce, and a spoonful of mayo, just plopped in the bottom. Enjoy. Pitting you against another woman for their amusement. Yeah, that's really fucking funny. Can he explain what's so funny about it? Ladies, support each other.